I think one of the main things that's holding people back from moving into retirement housing is a lack of options. So it's not that people necessarily don't want to downsize and move, it's that those options are not available. And I think the more accommodation that we get in the UK, the more awareness there is out there for older people to say, I know such and such who's moved into this scheme, they love it. Uh, uh, and then I've been to visit them, They're really, it's really interesting. So when another scheme opens up, then they're, keen, they're keener to move in. So I think the more proliferation we get of schemes, the more popular it will be. But at the moment, the market's very small, the offering is very small compared to the number of older people in the UK. In terms of um, planning changes that, that, that makes the market more attractive, then it, it would be good to have clearer guidance from central government in terms of planning use classes to, to, to ensure that, you know, let's be clear, is this a C3 planning use, is it a C2? Can they allocate land to say that there's a, there's a need in this area for more retirement housing? within the local plan, let's allocate some land to say this is a good place for it. And that would really enable more operators to get into the market because where having to compete with residential all the time, it's much more difficult to acquire land and it can lose out to some of the most suitable sites. So I think local authorities and central government can, could have a big role to play in enabling the market. For us, the biggest potential growth area is within housing with care. So we talk about retirement housing covering housing with support as one arm and housing with care with the other. You don't call it that when you're selling it to, to the public, but housing with care kind of does what it says on the tin. It's great housing, offering people good lifestyle, but there's care available if they need it. And that the, there is less than 70,000 units of this type of accommodation in the UK at the moment. About two thirds of it is uh, within the affordable tenure. So if you have too much uh, money to be looked after by the state in terms of housing association product, you're, you're self-funding, there's very little options out there. And that's the biggest growth potential, I think, for, for developers and operators to look at that mid-market and the upper end of the market, offering people a sales product and say, look, here's great housing. You can come and be a part of a community. You've got a good lifestyle and there's care available if you need it. Um, so that for me is the biggest opportunity. There's, if you compare 11.8 million over 65s compared to less than 70,000 units, it's a huge, huge opportunity. It's been great being part. This is the second year that Property Week have run a retirement conference and this is almost twice the size of, of last year's in terms of delegate numbers. So it's great to see a, there's a real buzz about the sector and you can meet people that you wouldn't otherwise get the opportunity to meet, share ideas. Um, so it's, it, it's been really beneficial from that point of view.